Proclamation No. 5823 dated the December 9, 1953. Help in earthly and spiritual adversity. Reciprocated love. Break bread with the hungry. Share whatever you own when you see someone going short, when he appeals to you for help, and don't fear that you will overexert yourselves, for the measure you use will be the measure you receive, and you will receive in abundance spiritually and earthly as soon as you make good use of the wealth, as soon as you distribute it where it is needed and to where I lead you myself in order to notice it. I refer more to spiritual than earthly hardship, for the former results in the soul's complete debilitation, in spiritual death. Yet you shall also take care of earthly adversity, because you thereby waken love in your fellow human being's heart and you will then realize in a flash why he experiences worldly difficulties and how he can release himself from them again. And this is why the earthly adversity in the lost days will be so great, because I want to save people from the excessive spiritual hardship, which will never be possible if everything earthly goes according to the human being's plan and his sights are steadfastly fixed on the world. Then I will have no access to their hearts and cannot address them either, I cannot direct their thoughts towards the spiritual realm. For the world will always take precedence and have greater control over people. But when faced by earthly adversity individual souls will indeed take refuge in me. Call upon me for help, and if they don't find the direct path to me, if they are incapable of praying because they don't believe in me, in my love and my might, you will have to pave the way for them by taking loving care of them which will not remain without impression on a person who suffers great hardship, which affects him beneficially and can also awaken reciprocated love, which always signifies a small light, a glimmer of realization, a step closer to me. Only in this way can you explain to yourselves the greater than great adversity and sorrow in the lost days before the end. I don't use it to punish but as a means of education, and I only want to take from people what is poison for their souls and in its stead offer a life awakening drink. I want to heal where my adversary has left deep scars which lead to death. I only want to save my children, even if the means for this salvation are not understood by you. I truly know how effective they can be and will apply them where I know my children to be stricken by a severe ailment which they don't recognize themselves and which I would like to cure because I love them. And you humans shall help me in this by willingly allowing yourselves to be led to these patients whose spiritual ailment results in earthly adversity and whom you therefore should support with loving and patient help and advice whom you predominantly should offer the bread of life, so that they can draw strength from it and then also humbly endure what is sent to them by my love. Consider all who suffer adversity and know that I try to save all those who are not so totally controlled by my adversary that he can amply supply them with earthly possessions. For they are lost for an infinitely long time. Amen.